everyone welcome to Eden Secret just a little breath of wind today and welcome to part three in my limited series celebrating the Queen's Royal 70th Platinum Jubilee this is the final part in a three-part series and just to say thank you for your 70 years ma'am um, I struggle to think of what to do for the third soap but the Queen made my mind up yesterday because I drew a soap in the book that I keep and I put drawings and thoughts and things in there products that I want to create and one that I'd created fits perfectly with the outfit the Queen wore yesterday for her lighting up ceremony um, it's a beautiful, beautiful pastel, hyacinth blue or lilac you might want to call it, outfit and it had lovely piped white edging on it so that is what the soap is going to look like today. So I thought I might do like a quarter cake slices, something like that. Um, so I bought these uh, round silicon pie moulds ages ago. I've no idea what for, what I was going to... Oh, I know what it was for. Do you know what it was for? I've just remembered what it was for. Do you remember that really multiple rainbow cake I did with about seven or eight colour layers? That's what I bought these for. In the end, I didn't even use them. Uh, but we're using them today. Piece of glitter in there. So I've got six. I hope that'll be enough. Um, and so if you saw any of it, I know a lot of you are in different countries. Uh, so you might not have watched it. And a lot of people that are in this country might not have watched it either. But she had a lighting up ceremony where they started off a light and it's sort of gone as a chain all around all around the world um and the outfit she wore is a gorgeous you know what i love i love this past uh this hyacinth blue at the moment which is blue ribbon from tkb trading um and i thought yeah i painted this picture well i drew this picture in my book months ago of a, a a very very pastel hyacinth blue cake or loaf i didn't know what it was going to be at the time um with beautiful white piping on so that's what we're going to do today and i know a lot of people you will be very happy about that because you keep asking me am i ever going to do the cakes again well here we are today these cakes are a lot smaller than the molds i used to do for making my cakes um because i just want what i really want is just a nice fairly shallow piece of soap so i can do like a quarter of each one of these i've, I've got i've only got six so that would give me 28 so that actually should work out okay Right, and we're going to be using some lavender essential oil today, which I got from Mystic Moments here in the UK. Okay, so I'm just going to add my light into my oils. My oils are all at room temperature today, and my light is at room temperature as well. And what is room temperature here in my soap kitchen? Twenty three point three degrees Celsius. So we're going to blend the oils in with the lye, and then we're going to add some titanium dioxide and some of that beautiful blue ribbon mica.
that is a gorgeous colour especially with that creamy white isn't it Okay, so what I did with each cake is that once the soap is kind of thickened up in the mould, I just put some cling film over because I want to keep this kind of soft the outside so that when I pipe onto it, the piping actually sticks onto the soap below. really into lavender at the moment usually I'm not keen uh, but I love it at the moment I've got a thing about eucalyptus as well at the moment so I did end up needing one extra mould luckily I, I did have some to uh, make sure get the exact centre of the mould don't we so the diameter is 18 centimetres so that centre centre point is going to be 9 and then we'll I'll do it that way as well. That's weird because if I do it that way, the nine, the centre point is there. I guess as long as I get it going, get the line. if it looks right John have you got like a right angle that's nine centimeters that's nine that's nine and that's a little bit more than nine so apart from a regular long knife, these are the only cutters that I think are suitable for cakes. Um, the single wire saw cutter for loaves, the wire obviously isn't long enough to cut all the way through 18 centimetres. So if, if you had a single wire cutter, which would be a higher one, you could do it. So it's not a cutter I've ever seen. So what I'm doing is I'm lining up the wire here with the mark that I've put on the soap and then at this side of the cutter there's a gouge out of the wood so you know where to put the line at the other edge and if you keep those uh, lines in position it'll cut right through the line you've scored and make a perfect half, we hope. So 
there you go. And then what you do again with the other half is again you line up the center point now I can see where I've drawn the line through the soap here and I obviously haven't got it in the right place but I know that the center point the nine centimeters is in the right place but I'm just going to measure it again to make sure as I keep that center point in the center where the gouge is when I move this in it should cut it in a perfect well I guess quarter I'm half in this piece but I'm actually making a quarter of soap Anna so that's about how big the bars are gonna be and we'll just weigh them what they are at the moment without the frosting on I won't be putting a ton of frosting on them so they're 195 grams at that but this will just be a a very special soap for the Queen's Jubilee So not a great need to trim them up but I always do trim them up so we might as well trim them up I'll just make them just that little bit neater
There you go. So space in those um, little flowers out there. You don't want them sitting on top of each other too much because there's nothing worse than trying to squeeze two together. Can we want them to pop? So one in each corner and then one in the middle of those two, one in the middle of those two, one in the middle of those two, one in the middle of those two. The same there and the same there, but here we're going to go two in the middle of those two. And same on that side. just so pretty I love it it's so Wedgwood I love that Wedgwood look I wonder if that's where what the Queen was inspired by when she uh, put this outfit on So when you're moving those soaps about that you've piped onto, be very, very careful. Don't put them down too fast. Don't pick them up too fast. Because the frosting will splatter and spread a bit and you don't want that. You want to keep those little buttons that you pipe in, in position. And there we have these pretty, pretty Queen's Jubilee soaps. Wow, well, I haven't thought of a name for these ones. What am I going to call them? And that's it again for another video from Eden Secret. I hope you enjoyed this one. I enjoyed making this one, it was nice and simple for me. I'll see you all very soon for another video coming up in the next few days. Bye bye for now.